Hello, I'm Sabina Pan, CPA. I advocate less taxes and more profits. Today, I'd like to talk about the ultimate retirement checklist. I'm a fan of Suze Orman, and after reading her book, The Ultimate Retirement Guide for 50 and Plus, I have curated and condensed her list with what I see from my client situation. The first category is called First Steps to Freedom. List your personal financial goals that you wish you had more money to devote to. Make paying for your retirement a priority over tomorrow's child's college fund. Start working on your plan for how you will keep working until you're 70 and make it your goal to retire debt free. And spend less by focusing on living below your means and seek out professional help. It will give you the confidence and calm that will allow you to enjoy retirement. However, never hire someone you do not have 100% confidence in. Trust your gut and keep looking. The second category is home sweet home. The first to assess whether your current home is a good financial, physical, and emotional fit for an older you. Would it be safe and practical for an older you? If you tend to stay put, pay off the mortgage before you retire. If you need to run away for an older you, do it sooner rather than later. Make sure you will be able to afford the rising cost of property tax, maintenance, and insurance if you stay in your current home. Explore moving and new living arrangement that could bolster your financial security, such as new locations, living with children or living with friends, or in a retirement community. And lastly, if it's practical and you plan to move, take advantage of the current strong housing market. Thinking about your safety net, research long-term care insurance, enroll in Medicare at 65 and consider purchasing supplemental Medicare coverage. And lastly, review your Medicare choices every year. Make it last during retirement. First, focus your retirement plan on living until at least age 95. From there, set a plan for how you will handle a bear market in your 60s. Estimate your monthly income in retirement. Plan for your living costs to rise a lot over a 20 to 30 year retirement. Aim to cover essential living costs from guaranteed income sources, such as social security, pension, or income annuity. Make sure to keep at least two years of living expenses in cash if you won't cover everything else from guaranteed income. Consider saving in a tax-free retirement account, Roth 401k, Roth IRA, health saving account. Decide whether a 401k rollover to an IRA account makes sense. Make it a goal to wait until age 70 to start receiving your social security retirement benefit. Be very careful if you're tempted to take a lump sum payout from pension. Choose the 100% joint and survival options for pension if you are married and your spouse is not in good health. Be open to income annuity, the good one, as a way to create more guaranteed income. Be ready to do, take your annual required minimum distribution once you turn 70 and a half if you are born on or before June 30th, 1949, or 72 if you were born after that day. Consider reinvesting some of your required minimum distribution retirement. And don't bail on stock. They offer the best chance of inflation beating gain. Aim for a mix of stock and bonds that you can stick with through good and bad market. Create a diversified portfolio with low-cost index mutual fund and exchange traded funds. Use a total market fund or ETF as the core of your stock investment. And use dividend stock in moderation. Focus on high-quality bonds, treasury, tips, and in moderation, municipal bonds. Lastly, caring for others in your retirement. Consider how reducing your financial support for others. Focus on needs and not wants of adult children, grandchildren, 
and the parents. This will enable you to achieve your ultimate retirement to support you later on. Make sure you are helping your adult child become financially independent. Consider caregiving options for elderly parents that do not imperil your own retirement security. Create a living revocable trust to manage your finances today and make it easy and private for your loved one when you die. Use a will as a complement to a trust. This is where you spell out who will inherit your non-financial possessions. Spell out your final wishes about medical care as you age in an advanced directive and appoint someone you trust as your health care proxy. Have a power of attorney for finances drawn up is often required if you want someone to help you manage your bills and investment. Consider sharing your financial life with your appointed successor trustee sooner rather than later. You can make everyone's life easier. If you find this video useful, please click on like, subscribe, and forward to those who may also benefit from this tutorial. Please also head to basecpaplus.com to sign up for our email newsletter full of tips for less taxes and more profits. Until next time, God bless.